and now we have dopamine. Dopamine is cool stuff. <laughs> dopamine is really cool stuff because when we look at the dopamine system, what causes antidepressant effect, it's serotonin, dopamine, and noradrenaline. Those are the three things for depression. But dopamine is truly cool stuff. There's zillions of articles written on dopamine, and dopamine is what makes you very, very happy. So it's the euphoria that people get. It's that well-being that people have. And there's four different types of dopamine that we have in our brain. We have a D1, we have a D2, we have a D3, and we have a D4, like this. So those are the things. And if we, they've actually done studies on looking at dopamine in the nucleus accumbens, in the locus ceruleus areas, and they did people put them in a scanner, and they looked at those areas and wanted to see when they were going to go off like a Christmas tree bulb. So what did they do? They excited people to find out what made the dopamine go up. There's certain drugs that'll do it, but they looked at that with a, with a PET scanner and so forth, and they showed people, you, you know, with a brand new Ferrari, right? Or you with this, you know, you know, romantic, you know, Latin American guy with his villa wanting you. You know, I, I don't know, you know. So anyway, what happened here is they looked at this thing and they, they uh, you know, they looked at if there was something very exciting like that, they went ahead and could see that your locus ceruleus and, and uh, nucleus accumbens and all that would release dopamine, right? Some people don't have a dopamine in their brain and they have Parkinson's disease, like Michael J. Fox and so forth. And you can also induce these areas to it. Now, if you showed me, put a scanner on my head and showed me a picture of my mother-in-law, what would you see? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> You're not going to see any dopamine release, you know what I mean? But if I go home, you know, and I, I go to my fence, and my, my three dogs all line up and they're jumping to see me and all that, then I have a tremendous dopamine release. So that's important, see what I mean? Now, if we look at, we inherited certain amounts of these D3, D4. If you inherit too much D2 receptor sites, you become schizophrenic. Because too much dopamine, you'll hallucinate and go nuts. I shouldn't say nuts, I just say that nuts are, right? So what happens is that when people do drugs like cocaine or methamphetamine, you can actually get start hallucinating, get paranoid, because you're looking outside, the bush narcs are going to come in here, they're going to get me, you know, and you start getting psychotic. So actually cocaine and methamphetamine can make you, you know, like methamphetamine or cocaine induced psychosis because you're getting too much dopamine. In fact, D2 is cocaine. Cocaine raises D2. D1 and D2, it's actually D2 and D3, D1 and D2 is methamphetamine. Too much or in, in inappropriate D4 is ADHD, tension and hyperactivity disorder. Wild, huh? And then we have the depressions here, like this. So dopamine is important for those, and we're trying to figure out which D1, D2, D3, you know, and so forth. But we do know this thing, that when we look at opiates, people doing opiates, it gives you GABA, slows you down, right? And then what do you get? Dopamine. Gives you a dopamine effect. That's why opiates are so, uh, you know, a treatment for depression, but you're hooked on, you know, on the opiate and the heroin and so forth because you're getting a calming effect, but you're also getting a general dopamine effect. People who drink alcohol get a 5-HT3, get a GABA effect, and then what do they get when they're chasing the high? dopamine. So in other words, on opiates you're getting dopamine, on high dose alcohol you're getting what? Dopamine. So that's why people cross addict. 